Just 80 calories for the whole bowl. <laughs> What is up people, welcome back to another video. I am keeping this one short and sweet with just the recipe, probably my most highly requested recipe video at the moment. My super high volume protein fluff or protein ice cream, okay? And the reason I'm keeping this separate is because I have actually recorded the video going up after this for which you might actually need this recipe for. So stay tuned for that, but for now, we are in Tesco's because we are here to pick up the ingredients. So without further ado, let me show you what you're gonna need for this Whopper recipe. So first on the list is gonna be a big bag of ice. And side note, already for those following along. Halo Top is still not on offer except for the sticks, but I'm not really a stick fan. I want the full tub. And guys, I mean it when I say stay tuned for the next video. I think it could be my best video yet, but the next ingredient you're gonna need only found in Tesco's is some sort of diet soda. And to be honest, this isn't even necessary, but it does add a Whopper flavor. You can just use water if you don't have it, but cream soda, no added sugar, is an absolute game changer. It literally goes perfect with every flavor of whey, okay? You could go for like Coke, or orange, but realistically, they would be super overpowering. So cream soda for the win. And side note, once again, you know I always get distracted at the cereal aisle, a big box of Cheerios. I am on the Cheerio kick, so we're gonna pick that up too. And bish bash bosh, we are at Super Value. Everyone is looking at me very strangely. Now I normally would go to the health store. You have seen me to pick up this very special ingredient, but I have since found out that Super Value do have it too. Now out of all of the ingredients, this is the key one. Without it, the recipe is a complete flop okay you can usually pick it up in most sort of gluten-free areas of a grocery store or just on Amazon and here it is guys so xanthan gum okay so it's usually made for making like gluten-free bread or just like baking for celiacs or anything but this is gonna add like thickness and volume to the protein ice cream seriously I'm telling you it's like magic when you add it to the mix you'll see it just goes like kaboom <laughs> so yes this is key now let's get on to the next ingredient you're gonna need and this is gonna be the final ingredient you actually need for this recipe, okay? The diet cream soda you don't really need, but there are three things you do need, which is the xanthan gum, the ice, and then you're probably asking, what's the third thing? Of course, it's gonna be a protein powder. So now, if you're really willing to spend the extra money, casein will fluff up more, but realistically, pure whey protein is cheaper and not everyone is gonna buy a casein, and most people will have whey in the house already. So that is what we're gonna go for. So here we go, all the ingredients you're gonna need, but if you do happen to have access to these add-ons, I highly recommend you use them as they will literally take this recipe to another level. So we have a sweetener of choice or we have some sucralose, that is super, super sweet. Then we have like liquid flavor drops and you can add like skinny syrup. So here we have an old Easter one. There's actually Walden Farms chocolate in there and then you have the other sort of main ingredients. So yes, those are all the ingredients if you have access to them, but you only really need three. So yes, without further Further ado, let's finally get cooking up this recipe. So cue some sexy B-roll and the voiceover in 3, 2, 1. Okie dokie, here we go, one take kid, back in action. I am under my covers. If you want a sound booth, homemade DIY sound booth, just get under your duvet. I look like an absolute freak, but hopefully the audio is nice and crisp. <laughs> anyway, here we go. As per usual, the description, no, not the description, I've messed up already. The full list of ingredients and all of the adaptations that you can potentially do and uh, everything that I've experimented with since launching this video will be linked down below. But essentially, it's very, very easy. You just fill up a blender with ice. Then you fill up the blender with the cream soda. Again, it doesn't have to be cream soda, it can be water. I've done it with water and it tastes perfectly fine because when you add all of your little ingredienti, like your flavor drops, your syrup, the sucralose, which is super, super sweet, uh, the sweeteners and the whey protein, <laughs> um, the flavor really does come through anyway. You don't really taste the cream soda, to be honest. But then you put all of that in, and then depending on how liquidy it is and how much you can fill up your blender, uh, you might want to add a bit more ice. Uh, overall, I've sort of found 390 grams of rice to 200... Rice? <laughs> 390 grams of ice to about 270 liquid works out pretty well put that in your blender and then really mix it until it gets infused together into that sort of like slushy like consistency if you want to call it you can see it there so yeah then you pop that into a food processor type thing you see it comes out nice and sort of gooey and you're probably thinking oh my god that looks like shit yes it does but 
and wait till you taste it, okay? And wait till the magic ingrediente is added. So, you pop that on, get it mixed in for a bit, and then you get your xanthan gum, or however you pronounce it. Again, I think this is fairly safe. I did a bit of research. It says, like, a maximum daily intake, um... It's acceptable to be like 15 grams or something which is quite a lot so we use about 12 or 10 and then to mix that up for literally like 10 minutes and you can see it comes out super super fluffy but max power 10 15 minutes and oh my days <laughs> look at that bad boy to be honest it doesn't even have to be 10 to 15 it just comes out smoother if you do that if you keep it like five minutes it'll do fine so yeah you're a wizard harry a wizard and a thumping good and i'd wager and there we have it, family. The bowl the size of your head of ice cream. The most voluminous protein fluff you're ever going to make. I mean, look at the size of it. And in terms of calories, you're pretty much just talking the calories of a scoop of whey. So like 20 grams of protein or 100 calories for this whole thing. So yes, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, try out the recipe. And if you do, tag me in your Instagram stories. But stay tuned for the next video because this is going to play a key part in it. But like I said, I wanted to keep this recipe video separate. So yes, this is part of the recipe series. An absolute whopper dessert, perfect for cutting. So yes, if you have any questions about the recipe, do check out the link in the bio for the full description of how to make it. But yes, that is that. Hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Boop!